around the room and I saw Jim's license in the hands of one of the police officers and I just started crying and repeating the word no. Keith was my whole world. He had his work and he was so important to his work and his work for him but for me he was my whole world. On the morning of uh, September 22nd, 2006, uh, Reggie Shaw was driving a vehicle on the Valley View Highway. Another car was following him. It was driven by a fellow, uh, Mr. Kaiserman. The driver of the vehicle ahead of me had seemed to be distracted most of the way over the mountain, had crossed over the center line on more than one occasion. And, and I do remember on that particular occasion of the, of the accident that as he crossed over the center, li center line and I, you do the math in your head and you see the car come and you think this is not going to be good. When Reggie's car crossed the center line and clipped this other vehicle, uh, it caused the vehicle to spin out of control. Mr. Kaiserman's truck impacted the Fafaro vehicle the combined speed of both, both vehicles would probably be close to 100 miles an hour. My name is Bart Rinlesbacher. I'm a trooper with the Utah Highway Patrol. I was the investigating officer on the Reggie Shaw crash. I think the average person upon seeing this would be horrified. I know that in my 15 years in law enforcement, I've dealt with this numerous times and I still rarely sleep at night when I handle a fatality involved accident. I was sending and receiving text messages when I drifted across the center line and struck another car. Um, they were both killed on impact. And I remembered being so shocked. that someone could be so selfish and irresponsible and kill my husband. Driving while texting is very comparable to, to driving while you're under the influence. And in fact, it's more dangerous in, in many cases than driving while you're under the influence of alcohol. My name is David Strayer, and I'm a professor of psychology at the University of Utah. Drivers who are um, text messaging or even talking on their cell phone suffer from something called inattention blindness where something as obvious as a gorilla walking across the street you're blind to it you don't see it because your mind is so pre preoccupied or absorbed with the uh, um, phone conversation or the text message that you just don't see the obvious thing that everybody else would see about eighty percent of accidents on our highway are due to some form of driver distraction where your mind's taken off the road for some period of time and given that we have uh, upwards of 40,000 fatalities on the highway every year, it's a significant problem. You know, it pretty much runs my life. Uh, everything I do on a daily basis is kind of centered around that accident and what happened. Things came easy for him. He, um, athletics, I, I love basketball. Just loved playing basketball and uh, he played football, he enjoyed that. Uh, and then he got into track and he you know, never ran track before and 
didn't have anybody to run hurdles, and he said, oh, I'll do it. He just, just a special, special kid. I don't think anyone feels that Reggie Shaw is a bad, bad person. There's nobody that feels that. He just made a, a terrible decision in texting. So we charged Mr. Shaw with negligent homicide. That is, by texting while driving, he wasn't exercising the due care that a person should use when they're driving a vehicle. You cannot believe the immense tragedy this case caused in so many people's lives. The fact that he killed two men, that has to be such a difficult burden. Um, and, and I think he's a, do, a very, very good kid who did just a really dumb thing. He's going to jail. Cash, Cash County. County Jail. To Reggie, who's never been away from home unless it was for something positive, uh, every day will seem like an eternity for him. He will be in general population, so he will be with people that have long criminal histories. He will be around some very unsavory people. We worked out a deal where Reggie had to go into different schools and do a presentation on the dangers of uh, texting and driving. Okay, I was texting and driving. I was 19 years old. I thought it was safe. I thought it was something that I could do, that I could drive down the road and send a text message and be safe and drive just fine, not hurt anybody. Cross the center line, two men killed. You don't want to have to think, get up every morning thinking of a tragic accident that maybe you could have prevented. You don't want to live with that. You know, that camaraderie of being together is gone. And I mean, here we were gonna grow old together and retire and all these things, and that's not gonna happen. I mean, he's not gonna be there when they, you know, when they get married, he won't be walking them down the aisle. He won't be, you know, all those things that dads typically do, he's not going to be there to do. Every decision was made together. I, uh, what if, you know, if he wanted something special from the grocery store or if we were planning a trip, it was just always done together. He was everything for me. It's been hard on my family, extremely hard on my children. For a parent, when you get up in the morning and you walk out the door and your 10-year-old says, be careful, Daddy, mm -hmm. we would think life should be reversed, that we should be telling our children as they walk out the door, you know, you be careful, you be safe. But my children fear for my life every day as I leave to this still. Having seen this tragedy, I have made sure that I don't answer my cell phone and try to uh, uh, make it so I'm not driving distracted. And uh, I've also encouraged everyone that I can within my family uh, to avoid that type of situation because it's just an immense tragedy that occurred. Choosing text to drive, you might be fine one day. Next day, you're going to be right here in the same seat. You're going to be hanging out with these same people, having the same thoughts I'm having. And it does. It takes a split second, and you don't even think about it. You, know, you think, I can do this. But you are, I mean, you are risking yourself and others, and it's not worth it. Because no text is that important. Mm -hmm.